everyone, it's Samantha from Scrapmasters Paradise, and I know it's been a long time since I've done a weekly project life process video, so I'm going to try to get caught up in the next couple weeks with the store closing. Things just got super chaotic. I lost my mojo for a bit, but I am back in action now. Also got a new camera, so I'm messing around with a different setup here, and I went ahead and secured these down with some temporary adhesive and I'm just putting them down on the page. These are the same templates I've been using and now I'm going to dig into my Camelot Studio Calico Project Life kit. This was the kit from May so I'm just going to start my week 18. I've got all of my kit stuff there in that pink bowl and now I'm just arranging things. I also got all my pictures printed off from my PictureMate charm and I do love the PictureMate charm. The only problem I've been having with it is I cannot print directly from my phone. And you know how much I love to make my photo collages straight on my phone, so I have an extra step now where I take the photos, make the photo collages, and the extra step is putting them onto my computer and then sticking them on an SD card or a flash drive. And either way works fine, and then I just stick the card into the printer and it works like that. And it is a little bit of an extra step, but at the same time, I'm backing up my photos, which is perfect. You know, you're supposed to back up your photos if something happens to your phone or your cloud backup system doesn't work properly. It's always nice to have that extra hard copy of the photos. So I am looking at the silver lining of the situation where I get my backup photos now, and it's just automatically I get my backup photos without having to take extra effort. And I'm so lazy, I don't back up my photos as good as I should. So. I'm going to um, be backing them up now since I have this extra step. Anyway, so I'm just arranging photos here. I end up with two full pages of garden photos. You know, this is our first garden. I'm really excited. And I pretty much took a picture of every single flower type as it bloomed. And I ended up with like 300 bulbs. So there's a lot of flower types. And the first page of this week's spread is going to be next to my last page from last week, I think. So I'm making it line up to where the two garden photos are next to each other is what I'm trying to do. I'm just getting stuff from my monthly kit here. I pretty much stick to this monthly kit the whole time with the exception of adding in some different cards. These are from the Aqua Core kit and then I pull out a couple of them, I think, from the Blush Core kit as well. So I do use a couple of cards here and there, just because I don't have enough of the 4x6 cards. Now I'm using these alphas. I'm going to use this Hello card to be my Week card, and I'm going to spell out Week 18. And since there are no numbers in these white foam alphabets that came from Freckled Fawn, I am pulling out some old um, number alphas that I had before. I rely heavily on my monthly kits that I subscribe to for my coordination and my matching and I really like that I can just grab the kit, get scrapping, I don't have to worry about coordinating too much stuff. I add in a couple of things here and there as needed but overall all of the matching is done for me and that's the value that I get out of the kits. Um, I really recommend trying out a kit especially if you're new and you don't have a lot of supplies. I definitely recommend Studio Calico or Freckled Fawn, and you can find subscription information over on my blog. In the sidebar, I list how to get rewards for subscribing. I have referrals for both of the clubs. So if you sign up with my referral information, you get a bonus special thing when you subscribe, which is really cool. So anyway, I really love my kits but it's just been impossible for me to use everything out of them recently. So I'm thinking about maybe cutting my kit club memberships back. I'm just toying around with the idea right now. I haven't made any decisions yet. So for this photo, I'm writing in the window. I took this picture of snow where she's kind of looking out the window and I'm writing all my journaling in the window since it's just a bright white space. And then snow's kind of looking down at me because she was caught looking out the window. Then I just added a little banner for that one. This is one I did a little bit differently. This was a 3x4 photo, but I cut it down so that it fit on this card. And it just looks like a tiny little scrapbook page. Just I wanted to make sure that the words showed up and there's words on both sides of this card. And so I just cut the photo down of Bella and I thought it turned out really cute with a different sized photo. So for this next one, I am going to do some stamping, and I notice I am off the camera quite a bit in this video, and I will try to work on that. I don't have much space showing 
here at the bottom where I um, actually am crafting. I will definitely play around with this setup and get it so you can see what I'm doing a lot better. The more I use these little 2 by 2 pictures, the more I absolutely love them. I love that I can take my Instagram prints and make the 2 by 2 and then I also have room for decorating and journaling on the same card, so I really like to do that. I should end up doing more of those because you can journal at the same time and you're not taking up two spaces when you try to add the journaling and the 3 by 4 picture. Okay, I'm done with this first page. It's going to go next to week number 17's last page. And so I'm just going to stick this in the front of this Design A page protector. So then I can have the garden pages showing next to each other how they're going to look in the album. So I'm just getting the one page out of the way. Here's a close-up look at it. Now I'm just spreading my garden photos back out. I had a lot of them. Like I said, I just really love pictures of flowers to begin with. So now I'm just going to fill in the other blanks. I'm going to make a little title card with some alphas and this pretty cloud 4x6. And I'm going to cut apart this 4x6 where there's two 3x4 photos. Next I'm just going to make another card and I'm just writing out rose selfie because I took a selfie with the little rose plant. It was a very special order because we wanted an orange rose bush. So I was so excited when it came and it was so much smaller than I had expected it to be. It was just so cute. Oh, I just took a selfie with it and I really liked that photo. So for this card, I'm going to piece together the three by four card and the four by four photo. And I'm just using this other card as a guide so I make sure that it's the right size. I've got all my cards picked out. I'm just going in and filling in all of my journaling. I decided not to do very much embellishing on this layout. I added um, one little wood veneer and that was about it. Seems like I lost some of my creative steam halfway through this layout. When that's totally okay. You don't have to be super creative to project life. And so I just kind of went through the motions, did the journaling cards, added just the one wood veneer, and then just called this layout done. Didn't have to be super spectacular or anything, but I got my memories down, and I got another page to go in my album, so I'm super happy about that. Here's a closer look at these two finished pages. When I was loading up all of these cards, I realized I needed to put a piece of a card next to this little picture because the picture wasn't quite 3x4. So I'm just adding this to a 3x4 card and then I'm going to stick it into the page protector. So for this last page I didn't have quite as many photos so I decided to use this empty 4x6 to do journaling about more of what happened during the week. As my other three pages were very very photo heavy, I didn't have a lot of room for journaling, so I'm squeezing that in on this last page where I have more open space. And like I always say, I make the pictures work for me, so I just organize them how I want, and some pages are going to have fewer pictures, some pages are going to have lots of pictures, and I just work around how my photos end up laying out. So this You Made Me Happy card is actually a scratch off, so the happy was covered up in gold. I just scratched it off and now I'm putting together one of those 4x6's again with a 4x4 photo and a 3x4 card. Just doing some journaling on the side of that card real quick. And I realize it's getting way too late in the day to film. I moved my desk right up against this window and you can see the light is shining in really harshly. So I'll be sure to try to film earlier in the day or later in the day where the light's not shining in so harshly. I'm using those freckled fawn alphas. I think they're from the April kit. I'm not exactly sure what month they're from. But I've been ordering a couple of extra packs every month since, and I'm going to end up with like 10 packs of these eventually. Just absolutely love them. So now I'm pulling cards from the blush edition just to fill in the rest of the spaces. I'm just going through these 4x6s that I'm flipping through are from the Dear Lizzie collection. So I'm just pulling out some of those to fill in the extra two spaces. Similar to those 2x2 two two photos onto the 3x4 cards, I love doing these 3x4 and 4x4 four four photos on the 4x6 spaces. It just leaves some room for journaling and it looks great, I think. When 
And I added quite a bit of embellishing on this last page just because I had lots of open space and it was fun to just decorate it a little bit. Now I called it done, so I'm going to show you all the pages up close. Thank you so much for watching. I'll try to be doing these at least once a week now that the store is shut down. I'm also going to try to be very ambitious and work on some of my past layouts too. Pull out my books that have not been finished yet, like 2010 and 11, and a little bit of 2013 I still have left. So I will try to be doing some catch-up process videos as well for you guys coming up soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.